is happening guys welcome to part four of the build um it's dragging on a bit i know but obviously we've all got a life to live and we all got other things we do in between and where my unit is a little bit of a drive from where i live um i can't always just pop down here and get little bits done so i have to come down here and make a day of it really so yeah that's a bit annoying but I'm down here today and part four is happening. Um, I'm hoping to get the whole lot buttoned up now, ready to go in the car. Um, and then obviously this should be the last video on the engine build. And I've got my little helper today. Just trying to get warm at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, she's gonna help me do a bit of filming. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try and um, get the cams put in now and all the rocker assembly and things like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna jump on with that quickly, guys. Okay, I pressed it. All right, guys, I'm gonna install the cams now. I can sort this bloody assembly lube, right? Um, make sure you put some assembly lube all over the journals. Um, yeah, you know, obviously, no metal to metal. So, don't be shy of it. There we go. My little filmer filming me today, so a bit easier. Rather than always filming me. I've got a tripod, but obviously I'm moving battles and forwards and things like that, so um, I can't always get my movements. Your arms aching yet? Not yet. <laughs> so yeah. Not gonna be sure with a lube, getting it all, all in there. Don't know damage on the. Oh, they getting a bit turned out. Yeah, I thought they were big. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm moving the camera to you. So <laughs> now I'm gonna be installing the cams. The inlet side. My arms are not tired now because look what I've done. It's easier, that's a lot more easier. Okay. Yeah. So the inlet side is on. The exhaust side, I'm going to dry this because I've sprayed WD to not get it rusty. So, um, yeah, I need some big boy cams. As you can see. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Right. When you put them on, they should just drop into place. Okay, I'm going to get the caps done now quickly. Um, as obviously I think we'll go struggling with the arms and then I'll, I'll get back to you after that. All right guys, obviously you know it's my first time doing this. I've had to take the cams back off of the head. Um, as <laughs> when you're putting these parts on, um, the rockers basically, just giving you a little heads up. If you ever dismantle them and put them back together, if you look down the bolt hole, I look down the bolt hole, I was ready to sort of talk it up. Well, I can't get in that bloody hole and show you. But yeah, if you see in there, the bolt won't go in because this obviously wasn't lined up. So I've had to take it back off and I'm now gonna get in the right position to go on. Obviously I've never done this before. So I thought, oh yeah, it went on quite easy. Now I know why it's a bit of a pig. So if you're ever doing it guys, make sure when you put a rocker assembly back together that these notches line up with these holes Obviously, so you can clamp the, the camshaft down, otherwise you do what I've done and have to take it back apart. So I'm gonna jump on it and get it all sorted. All right, guys, um, got it all sorted out now. As I said, I had a little issue where they, they didn't line up, so I couldn't do it, but I've got the rocker assembly back on. I've got the Skunk 2 cams in. Um, really happy with the way it's gone. 
Um, to you guys, a heads up, when you are putting your your cams in, um, make sure you talk it accordingly and in the right order because you can break a cam doing this. I've seen people do it. Um, obviously, you go one, two, three, four, it's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. Make sure you, there's plenty of guides on, online um, that will sort of basically tell you exactly what to do on it. So, yeah, but yeah, all the cams are in now. So, as you can see, the uh, Skunk 2's in there. I am going to coat this completely in assembly lube so that all this will be smooth and no damage. Um, I'm going to now time up the motor, and while I'm timing up the motor, I'm going to get my little helper here to um, paint the rocker cover for me in a, in a red, mm -hmm. just keep her occupied, so that once, I ain't using that anyway, that's just temporary for the time, just so that when I put the engine back together, it does look a bit better, mm -hmm. and like a newer engine, instead of having that old rocker cover on. So, I'm going to jump to that now, guys. Um, yeah, bear with me, but look at it, it is... Wow, now the cams are in. Jesus, I'm buzzing now. I'm buzzing now. So, yeah, it's got time up, guys. Um, I'll get to that now. All right, guys, she's all timed up, finally. Um, I've seen a few videos online before. See, when I was doing my research on timing up these K20 engines, you'll see I've never done one before. And uh, everyone made it look really easy. I thought, oh, this ain't going to be. And I'll, it was a bloody headache and i mean a bloody headache i don't know if it's because obviously i've got different cams with stock cam gears i'm not sure to be honest but she's all timed up properly um yeah so when you're timing up these engines we obviously i'm using it i don't know if you see on there toda i'm using a toda chain um yeah basically the toda chain you've got marks on your sprockets there um, so obviously you want the gold links with the sprockets and obviously you want your, your line up there. I mean, the main thing, I know obviously there's gold links on the sprockets and that. Once that's variated, once th that won't line up for thousands and thousands of times. So the main thing is obviously getting these lines as close as possible, obviously. Well, they have to be bang on, otherwise your engine's going to go kaboom. Um, and then obviously here, top dead center as well. Um, that was the, the very top point of the piston there. Um, as obviously I had a little rod in there and that is exactly TDC, where it's at. So, yeah, um, it's done. Obviously you've got a gold, a gold link here as well. And there's a little mark on the sprocket down here as well, that lines up, um, all my links match up. So, so does my timing, but yeah, I'm happy with it, so it's timed. And I mean, it took me ages. I'll be honest, it took me over an hour to do that because this one didn't want to play ball. It kept sitting over here, so I had to lever it and obviously open the valve or whatever as I was pressing down the springs and, and then tighten it. And as a one-man band, um, it's pretty hard. So, yeah, but it's timed up and I'm happy with it. I'm just going to go around every bolt that you see and just check everything's all tight. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Exciting stuff. She's almost ready to bloody drop in. So, what I'm going to do is, I said, I'm going to tighten them up and then I'm going to get this cover on at the side. Um, before I put the cover on, I'm just going to double check everything. Just, just, just to always double check your works to make sure. So, yeah, we're going to jump on with that now. All right, guys, I've had an absolute nightmare yet again. Um, today's a bad day. I managed to sol salvage it, but... So I said to you, I'm going to do up all the bolts, make sure everything's tight. Now, I come down to this bolt, and it didn't feel like... Well, it didn't feel hand tight or nothing like that, so I've done it again. And... Lucky enough, I managed to get the bolt out, so it's just a bolt jobby. Um, yeah, I don't know if I must have, oh, I must have done it too tight or the bolt was weak. Either way, lucky it's happened now, not while the engine's running, I have a major engine failure um, due to that snapping. But yeah, so, bit of a pig, really. Um, what do you mean a bit of a pig? 
So yeah, basically I've got a, I've got one here. Obviously, I need to order another one of these, um, and then yeah, get it all re. I might just order two new ones because that's maybe worry now. So oh yeah, it does look a little bit stretched if you look at this. Yeah, it does. Look at the bottom. It looks thinner than the top. The thread looks thinner at the bottom than it does at the top. So yeah, I'm gonna order two new ones of them, um, and then I'm gonna be able to finish the engine. Bloody headache, really. But, um, big I'm just going to see what I can get done now. Um, I might just bolt up a few bits <laughs> on the head and see how it looks. And then uh, leave it, call it a day. All right, guys. Obviously, you know, I'm going to wait for that bolt. Um, I've just put that on temporary. I've not sealed nothing. I've got the guide up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to order a new bolt. And then once that's here, I'll get that put on. But... Other than that, I followed this on just to have a look, see what it's going to look like. And um, I'm very happy with the engine. I'm a bit annoyed about that bolt, but um, things happen. And at least I found it now and it didn't happen on engine failure. So, but yeah, as you can see, she's all together. And wow, obviously I won't be using that rocker cover. I'll be using the Nardo gray one off this anyway, but that's just temporary. And wow, the engine is looking good very very good you know oi, you know when I'm talking you meant to listen not talk over me yeah little kids I think they know it all don't they look <laughs> little bugger all right anyway the engine's done so yeah let me know what you guys think of it because i'm very happy with it and yeah so that's basically everything to go through when you build an engine guys hope you've uh, enjoyed the little four-part series um on getting it built i said it's my first k series we ain't started yet it might not work but no it should should be fine i said i've done everything to spec i mean don't you see this so i've got the book out and I've got the book on everything as well and I've just followed absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, I said this bit annoying about that bolt, but at least it happened now before I put the engine back together and obviously put it in the car because if that had happened while I'm driving um, or the bolt would have been weak and as the, the chain was turning, um, it would have pressured onto that bolt, maybe snapped it, it could have caused a lot more problems. So that's probably a blessing in disguise that that snapped now because um, I didn't even do that tight at all. I, I went even hand tight and it went ping. I was like, oh my God, not again. I mean, I know sometimes I don't know my own strength and it just goes pop, but yeah. So that weren't me this time, 100% that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the engine build. Um, I'm really happy with the way it come out. Um, I said, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet if it's um, gonna be 100% perfect when I drive it, because I'm, I'm a bit worried about the cams, obviously, because the, the cams have gone in fine and that, but um, yeah, I've got to do the lash yet, but I ain't gonna bother putting that in a video. If you guys wanna look at how to do valve lash, um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Um, I'm just gonna leave it here for the build series. As I was gonna put it in one video and it took four parts, um, and they're substantially long videos. So I'm not going to bother doing the valve lash. Um, I'm just going to do it like my own time. And then once I've got the bolt and I'm going to seal the side cover on and but blah, blah, blah. That's basically it. The engine's basically back together. Um, and I'm going to end the series here for you guys. Um, so yeah, we just got to see what she makes now. Get in the car. Um, I'm going to obviously carry on filming as I do as my vlogs keep going and on the channel. So next week, hopefully at some point, um, if I can get that bolt deliver quite quickly um i'll have that back together and then i'm going to be stripping down the front of the ep3 to get the engine in um i was going to help get my mate craig to help me um but i think he's booked up for a while so i want to just do it all in here um yeah so i'm going to try and get all done in this unit i haven't got a ramp it's going to be a lot harder but you know how we do <laughs> we've done this on driveways and that so having a unit is even a blessing so yeah, I'm probably just going to drop the subframe out and then drop the engine out. I've just got to get one more dolly to put that engine on because we're going to be using that engine out of the EP3 for the other build. So that's that's further on in the channel. 
don't worry about that. There's plenty lined up for this channel, guys. So um, I can guarantee another at least eight months worth of footage coming um, that I can see in the future. So yeah, we ain't stopping anytime soon. But yeah, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, share, guys. Drop a comment. Just let me know what you think. My pros and cons. Obviously, positives and negatives. Like I said, I keep getting your couple of uh, dislikes um, from the same person, I believe, because it's on the same video all the time. Someone commented actually saying about it. Um, but yeah, obviously, everyone's got their own opinion. And that's what the internet's for, to use your opinion on what people do and whether you like it or not. Um, that's, that's what it's there for. So you're going to get your haters. You're going to get your, your people who love you. So that's just part of the journey. I'm not fussed, I love doing what I'm doing and I'll do it whether I film it or not, so. But yeah, I said, drop a comment, let me know what you think of the engine, let me know what you think of the build. Um, like anything you wanna see on the channel a bit more, any, like all comments are welcome, um, advice is welcome, opinions are welcome. I mean, even if it's negative or positive, just let me know for the channel. I mean, I'm not, I'm here for you guys like, on, on, on the channel, so. Yeah, anything you want to hear or see or whatever, just let me know. And obviously drop it in the comments then we'll go from there. But I'll answer every comment I can on Instagram. I'll answer every message on Facebook. I'll answer every message. I'll do the best I can for you guys. I've not missed a message yet. So there's been quite a lot through. Um, Martin, Martin done. Well done on the giveaway, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to be sending it out today. It was more, should be today. If not, it'll be Monday, but it'll be... By, uh, with you by Tuesday because I'm going to do a special delivery for you uh, it's been a bit busy but yeah congratulations on the win when it gets 2,500 subscribers we'll maybe another giveaway and maybe it'll be something like Turbo or yeah maybe something like that so we'll see we'll see how well the channel's doing and how many views I'm getting and what situation I'm at in life so thanks again guys I hope you like the little see of the build series um and if you've got to the end of this video and you got to the end of the series, thank you for sticking with me because um, I need the views and obviously I need the support from you guys to make the channel work. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next video, guys.